Yeah, you give them credit for making shots. So uh, coming to the game, uh, well, they were probably 19th or 20th in the league in shooting threes. And uh, uh, for Duncan Robinson to get 10 off, that's too many at the high-level shooting, especially without Hero playing. Jimmy was uh, really good for them tonight. So he generated a lot of mismatches and points for them uh, throughout the course of the night. And um, turnover piece. When you give a team early and easy opportunities to score and transition, uh, you're playing uphill. Was there anything specifically that the Heat was doing defensively that allowed them to turn you guys over and then get out in that pace and that transition? No, I don't, I don't think so. I think uh, coming into the game, we were well aware of the style of play, uh, their ability to be physical uh, on screening actions, on pick and roll actions. And so uh, well aware of that. You give them credit for bringing a physicality to the game. Um, I think we'll see them in probably nine days. We've seen them a lot already, uh, but uh, we'll be we'll be ready next time. And what can you just say about Lonnie's play and the needed boost that he did bring coming off the bench? And when you guys felt like you guys needed to make something happen, he was just always there. Yeah, he'll continue. He's just continuing to uh, make plays for us on on uh, both ends of the floor. He's flying around on the defensive end of the floor for us, which we need. And then offensively, uh, you see his ability to uh, attack the rim. And so you know, he started off making shots. Uh, uh, two threes in a row. He tried to make a third one in a row, uh, but he used that to uh, get him in positions to, to get to the rim and get to the paint. And so that's, that's a skill that he has that we need with our group, and we'll continue to lean on that. Coach, my question is similar. Big night from uh, Lonnie off the bench. In a situation like tonight where you need to find something to kind of counteract what Miami was doing, how important is it to know that you have guys like Lonnie on your bench that can come up on a given night and give you 23 points that really make a difference? Yeah, it's really um, a luxury for me as a coach to uh, be able to have small and big lineups and to be able to uh, have a group out there with Lonnie included that can play with either group. So he's proven that he can you know, play with our starting group. He's proven that he can come off the bench and, and be a, a spark plug for us. Uh, and then in games like this, where he's able to finish games because we need his scoring, we need his ability to get to the rim, uh, he spreads the floor for us. So uh, he's really us utilizing his minutes to attack and, and kind of be in attack mode and um, definitely a luxury for a coach, for sure. Chuck, this is a question on each end of the floor. I think you guys are up about six, four minutes left in the first half. You go over for seven, three or four turnovers. You never really made a run after going down by eight. I mean, are you mildly surprised that there wasn't, I guess, an opportunity in there to make a significant run to get back into it? Yeah, it's interesting. I think when you look at it, uh, you know, their little run going into halftime, I think it put it to eight or something like that. So you can't have that momentum shift going into halftime. So that's something that we need to learn about, finishing the half, uh, having the momentum going in your favor in halftime. Then we came out and we were just trying to, to counter punch. I give, you give them credit. Uh, Bam was extremely uh, good at, at causing us to collapse our defense, uh, his ability to score points in the paint. And whether or not he's scoring, his ability to be in the paint and draw us into the paint, that's just uh, uh, he has that ability. And then Jimmy was uh, uh, playing at another level tonight, uh, his ability to really score on different guys for us. We tried to throw different things at him. Uh, so we never, Brian was able to get over the hump because we didn't get stops. And so didn't get stops, and then you're taking the basketball out, playing half-court defense against an aggressive physical team, not a good recipe. I think, 18, I think Jimmy had 18 in that third. I, I, I'm curious, obviously you know how good of a player he was, but I mean, what are the things that you could try at that point once he gets going like that? Well, we tried it all. We, uh, we blitzed him, we uh, changed our matchups. Um, we did a little bit of everything, but you give him credit. And he's seen these situations before, so his ability to, whether it's a possession at the end of the shot clock, he pump fakes and that ball goes in for him. Whether we try to switch and be aggressive and he drives the switch. Uh, whether it is he sees the uh, blitz coming and he drives away from the blitz, gets to the paint. So all those things happen uh, throughout the course of the night. You give him credit for being in those situations before. Jock, how much did it also kind of hurt that Cam got into foul trouble. The four fouls in the second quarter obviously was huge. But just how much did that hurt you guys kind of not get, getting in a rhythm in that first half? Yeah, it's interesting. You know, uh, when that happened, we were able to go with Lonnie. So that goes to the luxury part of having Lonnie out there. So Lonnie really picked up that slack that uh, we count on for, for Cam on a nightly basis. But 
it, it just makes you less aggressive. You get the fouls and you're thinking about the fouls. But uh, going into the game, we knew Kevin Love uh, always has been a guy that takes charges, and uh, he did that tonight. His impact on the game, whether it was the rebounding piece on uh, causing us not to get rebounds, him having to put back, uh, the charges that he took really had an impact on the game. I guess speaking on that, I mean, you guys, you guys did out-rebound him. You guys did shoot, I believe, 47%. So there was a lot that went right, but was it just a matter of just, again, the Jimmy factor, the turnovers, and just those other details that kind of just was the difference? No, you said it. There's a lot of things that go right. So the recipe of the night, pretty much the cake was baked uh, in, in the right formula, right recipe. Uh, the turnovers is the one piece. So that discrepancy, giving them those extra opportunities, and a team that uh, made threes tonight who typically on a nightly basis don't make threes, that's why our cake wasn't baked right, Evan. What did you see just from Nick Fox? He talked about the challenge going up, going up against Bam. He had to do a little bit of everything on both ends of the floor. What did you like from him um, in that matchup as well? Yeah, just ex accepting the challenge. And this is a night also that we had Dayron play Bam, which we haven't done that in the past. Uh, so giving the bigs both an opportunity to guard Bam. Get, Bam's just playing at a high level, uh, uh, an all-star for a reason. Uh, his ability to... Do a few things. So those Duncan Robinson threes, a lot of them are initiated because of Bam. Whether Bam is in, is in the post and we have to collapse and he gets Duncan Robinson a shot. Whether his ability to bring the ball up the floor, floor and play DHO game with Robinson, those are part of those 10 threes. So the, the impact that Bam has is just not only the shots, the free throws, it's creating and being a provider for his other teammates. Pretty impressive. You mentioned the, the turnovers you committed, but on the other end of the court, I know you don't want to give away your, your target number, but do you need to be able to force more than nine turnovers? Oh, or for sure. That, that's not even close. We can't let a team uh, turn us over more than we turn them over, for sure. Uh, so you can look at that stat, and uh, I think we had, uh, I don't know how many deflections at halftime, but not enough to, to say that we were the aggressors. And so we'll always be able to look at that at the end of the night. That'll show how you know, aggressive and physical we're being, we have to turn teams over. Made a difference in our last game. You see tonight when a team, even though we out-rebound them, we don't turn them over, we're still fighting uphill.